What's going on everyone? Movie Game Guy here. I'm back with, you know, a new part of series that I was going to be doing, which I was basically just going to do my complete collection overview, uh, shelf by shelf. This, will, this is going to be in eight parts uh, for this February 2017. Uh, the first two parts are going to be the Blu-rays, and then the last six are going to be my DVDs. This is all just the horror stuff. Um, the Blu-rays, some are in alphabetical order, but uh, most of them are not. It's usually companies and stuff like that. And then all my DVDs are in alphabetical order. But get into this because I don't want these videos to be crazy long. Start off with um, some Aero Steel books. First one I got, Still Sealed. It's um, Shivers from David Cronenberg. Next one, Theater of Blood. Fits in price. That one's still sealed too. Next, love this thing. American Horror Project, Volume 1. It comes with Malatesta's Carnival of Blood, The Witch Who Came From the Sea, and the Premonition. I saw everything but Premonition. It was pretty awesome. Still haven't gotten into this yet. This is the Death Walks Twice set, which includes Death Walks at Midnight and Death Walks on High Heels. Next one, Creepshow 2 box set. Very happy to have this. It's a limited edition one from the U.S. There's only three thousand was made. Next one, the Hills Have Eyes box set. Real nice, nice, nice edition. Next up, Society box set. Real nice too. That thing's out of print now. Real hard to find. They re-released it in an Amory case. It's a little more easy to find if you just want the film. Next is uh, some uh, slip covers I got. Uh, contamination, probably hard to find that now with the slip. And the mutilator, real happy that this got a release. Uh, one of the newer arrows in my collection, Crimes of Passion. Haven't opened it up yet, but I wanted to get it with the slip before it uh, goes out of print. It's not really a horror, more of a thriller, but still wanted to add it to the arrow collection at least. Bloodbath, still haven't opened up this yet either. Can't wait to get into this. And takes a chance to massacre too. The arrow release box set. Everyone's probably showing that off. It's epic. It's a must. I think there's only like ten thousand of those made, but I think it just recently too got out of print. And now another um, one I'm really happy to have. Blood Rage. The slip. And then into my window boxes, which are all alphabetical. A uh, first one, Mario Bava's uh, Bay of Blood, or also known as Bloodbath. A uh, still sealed copy of Black Sunday from Mario Bava. My favorite Lucio Fulci film, The Beyond. Love that. Dario Argento's Cat of Nine Tales. In my opinion, one of his more underrated films. And the Lucio Fulci film, um, City of the Living Dead. Love that movie. And Day of the Dead, which comes with a, um, a comic book. Real nice George A. Romero film. One of my favorite Dario Argento films, Deep Red. Then... The Exterminator. I like this movie. Forbidden Zone. Haven't seen it yet, and this is still factory sealed. Gotta get into that soon. Random release that I thought uh, Arrow released for um, you know the window boxes. Um, Funhouse. Real good Toby Hooper film though. Then Lucio Fulci here again with House uh, by the Cemetery. Dario Argento with Inferno. Liam Lustig's Maniac Cop. Still sealed. Uh, Obsession, Brian De Palma. This comes with a screenplay, I think. Another sealed one, Argeno's Phenomena. And last for the window boxes, Tenebrae, and probably my favorite Arrow release as of right now. And that's all the window boxes. There's still, I think, like nine or ten more I need to get, but it's what it is. Next up, Baron Blood, Good Mario Bava, and this is leading into my Amory Arrow stuff. Uh, Mario Baba film Rabid Dogs. This also has the alternative version called Kidnapped. Sisters, Brenda Palma. Uh, the Honeymoon Killers. Liked that movie a lot. Just recently got this one. Got to spin it. Haven't done it yet, but what have you done to Solange? George Romero's Night Riders. And Pray for Death. Which, uh, they got that at Walmart, which I thought was weird. The car I chose this version over the Scream Factory because of the special features. Um, Brian De Palma and the Fury, I haven't seen this yet. 
Uh, some trauma goodness here with Class of Newcomb High. Love that movie. Jack Hill Spider Baby. Still sealed, but I love that movie. Larry Cohen's The Stuff, another classic. One of my favorite releases from them, Arrow at least, uh, Microwave Massacre. Love that movie. Dar uh, David Cronenberg's Rabid, awesome release. Along with David Cronenberg's Shivers. Another one of my favorite releases from Arrow, uh, Island of Death, really good film. Some Roger Corman um, teaming up with Vincent Price and, and Edgar Allan Poe adaptation of The Pit and the Pendulum. Videodrome, love that movie. Cronenberg's early works, which includes Transfer from the Drain, Stereo, and Crimes of the Future. Real happy to get that. Wire to the Eye. I chose this release over Screen Factories for the special features also. Still haven't checked it out yet, but I will real soon. Love this film. Killer Crowns from Outer Space. Great release from Arrow. George Butker, it's Necromantic. Love that release. Now, on to um, some more. Um, Roger Corman and Vincent Price. Uh, adaptation from uh, Edgar Allan Poe's story, Tuma Ligia. Frank Henenlotter's Frankenhooker, Vincent Price in The Fall of House of Usher, Mario Bava's Blood and Black Lace, love that film, this is a really nice release, three disc, uh, Chud, Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dwellers, um, Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key, good Sergio Martino film, Satan's Blade, still haven't watched yet. Madman, gotta love some Madman. Driller Killer, the newest release, one of the newer releases from Arrow. I um, haven't checked out that uh, that uh, version yet. Black Cat, Lucio Fulci film, not one of my favorites. Uh, Just to Kill, good Brian De Palma film, really good Oli Lamel film, probably my favorite Oli Lamel film, Tenderness of the Wolves. Deranged, love this movie. Theater of Blood, one of my favorite Vincent Price flicks. The Visitor, really weird, but I liked it. And that's the rest. That's all my Arrow, and then my one Arrow Academy release, Robert Mitchum and The Night of the Hunter, great release. Oh uh, yeah, bunch of Arrow, real happy about. I love, just love that company, uh, so I had to have a bunch of stuff. I mean, it was a must for me. But uh, now into my Snaps releases, which I got a bunch of. First is 42nd Street Forever, the Blu-ray edition, which consists of the first two DVD releases of the 42nd Street Forever, just on a Blu-ray. Pretty cool trailer compilation. Uh, next up, the uh, Synapse.com uh, exclusive, uh, Document of the Dead, um, the definitive guide, um, the making of you know Dawn of the Dead, really awesome stuff. Buddy Minute Evil, Coffin Joe. Curtains, pretty good movie. Hammer Horror, great right here. Countess Dracula. Hands of the Ripper, still haven't checked out yet and still sealed. One of my favorite vampire movies, Vampire Circus, Hammer. Some uh, Scott Spiegel, uh, Ted Ramey, Sam Ramey uh, stuff right here with Intruder. Bruce Campbell's at the end of that and does a cameo. Another one, um, with the crew, uh, Thou Shall Not Kill Except, love that movie, Life and Death of a Porno Gang, another movie that was pretty decent, not as good a Serbian film, which it's compared to, but I liked it, then uh, Samurai Avenger the Blind Wolf, haven't checked it out yet, Long Weekend, haven't seen, but I heard good things, Manos, haven't seen, still sealed, gotta check it out soon, uh, pretty good movie right here, More Terrors, I liked it. And then Sorceress, I haven't checked out yet either. And that's my Synapse stuff, which is okay for now. Still got to pick up like Prom Night and uh, House of Drip Blood and whatnot. But I'm right, on to the uh, idiot films I got. First is Creep Show 2 with the slip. Real nice stuff right there. The Suckling, haven't checked out yet. Sewage Baby. Um, Blessing Shadow, really good. This is getting into my Italian uh, collection from the idiot films, the Italian collection line. Zombie Holocaust, haven't seen yet. Love Zombie Flesh Eaters 2, also known as Zombie 3. Great one. Next is Burial Ground, pretty good film. That was all I have for the 
Italian uh, class, oh, Italian collection. Next is the Slasher Classics collection. And first one's Mother's Day, really awesome, directed by Charles Kaufman, Lloyd Kaufman's brother. Slaughterhouse, probably my favorite out of the Slasher Classics collection I have right now. Love that movie. Hollywood Chainsaw Hooker is ridiculous but fun. Nail Gun Massacre, another one, ridiculous but fun. Haven't checked out Dead of Winter yet, and I know Scream Factory just released it, but I'm, I like this release, so I'm just going to stick with that one. Nightmares on a Damaged Brain, still haven't checked out, I really want to. And then uh, Drive-In Massacre, haven't opened yet, just got it recently. It's my 88 film stuff, and that stuff's constantly growing. Um, next is my Vinegar Syndrome. And first of all, it's Exportation TV and Vinegar Syndrome, uh, also with uh, Trauma. Frightmare, it's a pretty cool movie. Another one that's uh, teamed up with Trauma from Vinegar Syndrome, Graduation Day. Love that movie. Uh, Luther the Geek, pretty good one right here. Christmas Evil, cool Christmas uh, horror film. Not horror, but it's the only other Vinegar Syndrome I have that's like, you know, it's the only one that I have that's not horror, so it'd be weird not in the horror collection. There's Pretty Peaches, uh, pretty hard to find. Pretty Penny if you want it. Uh, Macabre, pretty awesome, also known as Demonoid. I like this cover better. So it's that way. Not trying to tear, cool anthology. The Bees, awesome John Saxon stuff. Horror House and Highway 5, not the best movie, but uh, real nostalgic for me. I used to rent it a lot on VHS when I was a kid. Such Polar Murders, pretty good film. Last for Vinegar Syndrome. It's, uh, Jack Frost with the Lintic. Had to get that. That was like day one pre-order. Like Black Friday. Now into my Kino. And uh, that'll do it for this video for the top shelf. First is Spellbinder. Love Kelly Preston. My only Kino, uh, like, you know, Lorber Classics, Transformations. Then into my Redemption, which I've been loving Redemption. Um, Shivers of the Vampire, pretty decent. Lips of Blood, but these twin vampires, I thought it was okay. Killer's Moon, reminds me of a ripoff of Clockwork Orange in the sense. I still liked it though. Oasis of the Zombies, pretty horrible Just Franco zombie film. It takes place in the desert. Um, Female Vampire, pretty good. Along with Exorcism, uh, I love that Just Franco film. Uh, awesome Pete Walker goodness right here, House of Whipcord. Um, Gene Rowland flick, uh, Night of the Hunted, pretty good. Um, the Awful Dr. Orloff, another good Just Franco film. Flesh and Blood Show, uh, pretty cool P. Walker film. We got Frightmare, not as good as I well, wanted it to be, but I still thought it was decent. It's like old lady, just killing people. Uh, House of Mortal Sin, another good Pete Walker film. Haven't checked it out yet. Uh, Paul Nash and Crimson, it's still sealed. And last for this shelf, My Chan's Daily Life, the movie, which I really liked. And that's the first shelf, guys. And uh, tune in for uh, shelf number um, yeah, two. Well, I should show this stuff off first, too. Like, Flesh for Frankenstein, Happy Birthday to Me, and Tales from the Crypt from Cult Cinema. It's my Cult Cinema stuff. My Cult Epic stuff, Necromantic 1 and 2, and Dirt Toadskin, all great films. My sad um, Twilight Time uh, stuff. I just have two releases. La Bambola, Di Satana, and Scream and Scream Again. My Raro stuff. Um, Death Occurred Last Night. Um, what was that? Slaughter Hotel, Nightmare City, a Murder Obsession in Iguana. Everything I've seen on uh, from Raro right there. Classic stuff. Love Raro. And some miscellaneous that I just recently got. Uh, slash a video conjunction with Martini and Olive Films, Cinco de Mayo, a Duck Night of the Scarecrow, awesome, awesome film. Then a couple uh, Vesteron Collectors uh, series things, uh, Chud 2, by the Chud Blood Diner, and then My Boyfriend's Back, and then just my two Mondo Macabro um, Blu-rays that I got, The Fan, which I love, and Lizard and Woman's Skin, the limited red case one, still sealed, but, and uh, all the way over here, Got rabbit hole, pretty cool stuff that my uh, buddy Sean Paps Mold did. Pretty good stuff. Check out that. 
from uh, Dr. Gonzo Boogie. Check out his page. And then just some plastics. I still got to put on some stuff. Sealed plastics. But yeah. I hope you guys like this. Uh, give it a thumbs up. I'll be putting up the second shelf very soon. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button already, definitely hit it. I appreciate all the support. I'll talk to you guys later.